What is good guys, it's your boy Stock J back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a quick technical analysis of AMC stock. I'm going to talk about the overall price movement and what happened today. I'm going to go over some Ortex data, some dark pool data and some short volume percentage for the call options market. And then finally, I'm going to give you my stock price prediction for next week, for Monday and the upcoming near term future for AMC stock. But before I get started, I have to mention two quick things. First of all, I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert, so don't take this as financial legal or taxation advice. Also, if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only for me, but benefits the entire ape community as a whole with that all set and done and out of the way let's get on with the technical analysis guys once again guys we are in the green we are broken the 50 and we are looking absolutely awesome guys now in my previous video i did think that amc would have closed at the high 48 dollar range and that prediction was a little bit off because amc does have these nuances it ends up breaking the trends and ends up doing things that we don't even expect so amc it's doing phenomenal I am just so, so, so excited for what's about to happen next week. But before I go about my prediction, let's just talk about the overall price movements and what has been going on. So AMC started off as a, at a low of $48.95 and had this beautiful run-up up to the $51 range before it began to consolidate just a little bit and reached a high of $51.70. Let's go, guys. $51.70 before more consolidation. And this consolidation around the $51 range is a really, really, really good sign because AMC is becoming more comfortable in the 50s and that's actually surprising. I actually thought that we would hit the 50s by next week. We ended up doing by Friday so that's A-OK. -okay. It's awesome. It's even better news. AMC is doing well. So you could see what happened right over here at the very end. Now, I can't promise you that this is an attack, but it's very, very probable that there, this may have been a short ladder attack at the very end, a very last ditch effort from the hedge funds, from the shorts to bring AMC down. And they brought it down to $50.16, but they failed to bring it below the $50 range. We still closed in the 50s, up 3.38% for the day. Let's go, guys. And there were definitely significant moves. So as I bring up this Bollinger chart right over here, we had a significant rise up to the about the high 57 51 dollar range we had more and more volatility and these were many many significant moves until the very end you could see the significant drop down to the 49 dollars and 90 cent range before we came up to the 50 dollars and 16 cent price so that is a-ok -okay. we managed to hold up we managed to close above 50 and that makes me even more bullish for next week so given the trend that amc has been following if you look at the one month chart you could totally see that this is exactly what we expected amc has been stair stepping its way up and the trend is continuing which is another huge indicator that we are still in the bullish cycle so as you guys know, we were in a bearish cycle for some time. If you look at the six month chart, this was a bit of a bearish cycle before what just happened around the beginning of August. And since then, we've been going up and up and up and up and forming this beautiful W shape right over here, which shows AMC can have more and more and more upside potential, but not just upside potential, but possibly reach all time highs very, very soon. But I'm not gonna go into specific details about that yet. We need to go over some pieces of data. First off, let's go over some Ortex data. As you can see, the short interest was at 18.35% for the day, and the utilization was 91.44%. The short interest is still relatively high, but remember, guys, this is the bare minimum. At the very least, the hedge funds have to buy this many, uh, this much shares in terms of percentage. But remember, remember, this could easily be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60%. And in fact, it could be as big as the entire float if you account for synthetic shares and all that out there. I'm simply showing you the confirmed data based off the float, and this may not even be 100% accurate but based off this this is still a crazy high number that is over 85 million shares that have to be bought back in fact it's close to 90 million shares and even at the very least if they have to buy back that many amc could easily go extremely parabolic but remember if this is higher which it most likely is at the 20s 30s 40s 50s maybe even 100 percent short interest amc could easily go way 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 higher than most people probably can imagine it's going to be absolutely crazy when these shorts cover their positions whether it's slow or fast but i'm just putting this data out there that despite how much it's shorted despite how much you know all the things that are going on right now amc could still be green which shows that it is a lot more volatile and a lot more sensitive to the overall movement so looking at some volume data from stock grid we could see the volume was almost 90 million for the day it was 89.9 million about 90 million which is very close to average about the same as yesterday maybe a little bit higher but that's actually a difference that we would not have expected because typically volume is a little bit lower on fridays but the volume did go up but out of the volume which is almost 90 million 61 percent repeat 61 percent 
happened on the dark pools and that's absolutely sketchy that's horrible that should not be happening but once again despite the manipulation we are still in the green we're still up over 3.38 percent now one last thing that i want to show you is the fact that look at what happened yesterday the short volume percentage was at 60 percent that means 60 percent of the volume was also short volume whether it's included in dark pools or not, that is still crazy. AMC is still heavily shorted. It's still being attacked. And this is an indicator that this may be a short ladder attack. I can't guarantee that, but this may have been an attack right over here towards the end to bring it down, a last ditch effort to bring AMC below the 50. And they succeeded at bringing it to 49.90, but we managed to bring it right back up to $50.16, which is where we close above that range, which caused many, many, many uh, call options to reach their strike prices especially call options in the money but currently the big thing you have to pay attention to is that there are 92,798 calls in the money expiring on september 10th at 55 dollars so even though we didn't reach 55 there are going to be tons of calls in the money expiring at 55 so that's a big thing to be looking out for next week but we may even go well above 55 so that probably won't matter but i just want you guys to know that the next level of resistance we're probably going to be fighting very very soon is the 55 repeat the 55 so do not be surprised if there's resistance over there the shares available to borrow did go down down to about ten thousand, which is a good sign because it's becoming harder for these hedge funds to borrow amc it's becoming more expensive and during this specific time period that's what's contributing to this bullish cycle so with all that said and done i went over tons of pieces of data i know your brain may maybe just fried right now but hey it's a-okay let me tell you what i think is probably going to happen so once again guys i was was wrong in my previous video i will admit my mistakes i'm a human i'm not perfect and technical analysis definitely has merit it's definitely can be accurate but it's not always 110 accurate so i thought amc would close in the high 48 dollar range because given uh, the trend that's where amc was very very comfortable spent a ton of time fighting that level of resistance i was not i wouldn't have been surprised if we didn't beat it but at the end of the day i was wrong i admit it and amc ended up going higher than expected i thought we'd be in the 50s by next week we ended up making it to the 50s today which is friday but overall even though i was wrong i still want you guys to know that there have been tons of instances where my predictions were accurate and correct based off technical analysis it's just that amc is heavily manipulated and the, you know the movement can sometimes be capricious and unpredictable but despite that guys for entertainment purposes i'm still going to give you what i predict is going to happen for next monday so the question is will amc go to 75 and i do not think it's going to happen on monday but i do think eventually over the upcoming weeks it's very very probable that we could see amc that high if not approach the 100 range it's definitely possible and i'm not going to promise it but i'm just want you to know that it's possible the sky is the limit and amc is absolutely insane so look at what happened to the overall market today neo down tesla down jimmy down all the companies the entire market crashed today, closed in the red. Bitcoin was down over 4.89%. And that contributed to why AMC is in the green. Because the market has some bearish sentiment to it right now. There are a lot of people saying there's probably going to be a market crash, this and that. So when it comes to my stock price prediction, if that trend continues, AMC has even more bullish momentum coming. Which means tomorrow, or by tomorrow I mean next Monday, which is the next trading day, AMC should go as high possibly as high as the 55. now before you think i'm crazy for saying that i was a little bit on the conservative side i thought amc would be in the high 48 to 49 dollar range which is where it would close that's where i thought it would close yesterday it ended up going way higher than i expected so i am even more bullish than before so typically i would expect it to be around the 52 dollar range but i wouldn't be surprised if it touched the 55 maybe consolidated and closed around 54 53 somewhere around there but i wouldn't be surprised if amc goes to the mid 50s by next monday and sometime next week we we are most likely going to break that and touch the 60 it's very very probable we could touch the 60 maybe consolidate and close to the mid 50s maybe a little bit in the high 50s by next week so i would not be surprised for that but for monday guys i would not be surprised if amc touches the 55 consolidates and closes around the 53 or 54 dollar range maybe even 55 but that's what i predict that range over there to the mid 50s is where i see amc going for next monday and mondays tend to be bigger days as the volume is higher and i am just bullish for amc but once again guys 55 would not be the score 
squeeze. Do not forget that everyone knows that there's still insane potential for this stock. You just have to give it time. So giving it time, the shorts have to cover their positions. The short interest is still relatively high and the short interest is not everything when you consider the utilization and all the other things going on. But when the shorts cover, this thing is going to go to the absolutely to the moon. It's going to be absolutely insane and i'm still 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 an ape i still believe in this movement guys we do not give up we're going to win so with that said and done guys i really hope you have a great weekend we are in the green enjoy the weekend get ready for monday and have a great rest of the day peace out